Good morning. This is Miss Norma once again, and welcome to my YouTube page. It's so good to see you this morning. I know you can't see me, but uh, I just wanted to say hello anyhow. Let us pray. Father, thank you this morning for letting us gather once again, Lord, um, to listen to the readings. I pray that it is a blessing, Lord, not just to myself, but to everyone who listens. I ask that it would be strength, grace, and mercy for them. And Lord, for that someone among us, Lord, who is going through a very challenging time, I pray, Lord God, that you would send peace and comfort, Lord, whether it's mental, emotional, or physical, or spiritual support, Lord, send it. Somebody needs it this morning. So I pray for your blessing and healing on all the land. Bless our lineage, Lord, our young people. Our young people, Lord, help us to encourage them, Father, and teach them, O oh Lord, to seek you and find you. You are the best gift to all of us, one and all. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen. Our reading today for February the 7th is entitled, Just a Matter of Time. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Isaiah 65, verse 24. In the middle of a cold snap that had temperatures dropping to minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 31 degrees, 31.6 degrees Celsius, the heater's blower fan in my pickup started screeching loudly. This went on for a few days until I finally called the auto parts store and bought a new fan. That same day, I called a friend from church asking permission to park my truck inside his shop to replace the part. Sure, come on over, he responded. I drove to his shop after work and pulled inside. As soon as I parked and got out, he said, your truck's leaking oil. I looked under the cab and sure enough, Oil was steadily dripping. My other vehicle was already in the shop for major repairs, so the last thing I needed was more vehicle issues. My friend got started on replacing the heater fan while I lay down on a creeper and rolled underneath my truck. Looking up from the creeper, I saw oil spattered over other parts over other parts of, well, everything under there. But the engine itself was dry. I looked at the filter, oil filter, and saw oil around the bottom third of it. Everything else around the filter was dry. I removed the brush guard on the bottom of the truck to reach the filter. When I did, the filter was so loose I could turn it by hand. I used one of the shop owner's filter wrenches to tighten the filter and then cleaned up the oil mess as best I could without having any degreaser spray. There was no way I could have done that repair in the dark, especially in minus 25 degrees temperatures. My friend told me that if that filter had come off, it would have dropped by the side of the road. Not only that, if I had lost the vehicle's oil, the engine may have seized up. Without my spare vehicle being available, I would have been in bad shape at minus 25 degrees temperatures. And no transportation except for my four-wheeler, not very practical for an Alaskan winter. I'm so glad I didn't wait for the heater fan to quit completely. The oil filter would have dropped off somewhere. It was just a matter of time, said my friend at the shop. God knew all about the loose filter and the other vehicle issues I'd been having. In the subsequent words of a friend from work, when I told her, oh my, 
That was the tender mercy from God. What has God done for you lately that you can share with others about his goodness? Yes, we all have a story. We all have something good to share to encourage and enlighten someone, or maybe even ourselves. We may need to recount our blessings. But thank you, Lord, for this reading. This reading today was written by Sonia Brock. Thank you, Lord, for this reading. May we continue to experience your loving mercy and your grace from day to day. Lord, help us to be a blessing to someone. Help us to be an encouragement to someone. And Lord, if it's us that needs that encouragement and blessing, send an angel, whether it's an angel from heaven or whether it's a human angel, Lord, someone here to just touch us and say, it's going to be all right. Thank you, Lord, for however you choose to answer our prayer and bless us today. In Jesus' name, amen. And I know some of us are preparing to get ready to go to work, myself included. So um, I'd like to ask uh, the Lord for safe travel for each and every one of us. Uh, give us a keen eye, sharp reflexes, whatever it is we need to get home safe I mean, or get to work safe. And Lord, also, once again, I say to my listening audience, ask for your song today. Receive it in your heart. I know that because I ask and I pray for you all, I know that the Lord is prompting you all with a song in your heart. So receive it and be blessed in Jesus' name. And by his grace, I will see you all on tomorrow morning. Have a wonderful day, Miss Norma. Thank you.